So I'm not cool enough to be in GQ. However, here are 10 things that I, Jason Byers, a professional day trader, cannot live without. Let's get into it. Now, number one, I got two phones. They go with me everywhere so I can check charting on the go, alert the PC team for any trade opportunities, and handle business. Uh, the reason I have two is one is a complete social media phone, and then because it takes up so much of my time, I turn it off and leave it uh, in the corner of my room when I'm working so I'm not distracted. This phone is my emergency only phone, so only my closest friends and family have this phone number. If you're an aspiring entrepreneur, I highly suggest you do this. You can buy a brand new iPhone on Facebook Marketplace for like 300 bucks, and it saves you a lot of time. Um, going on to the next thing. Now, number two, the things I can't live without, my custom day trader cigars. So the reason I can't live without these is because PC Noah and I made a pact that we can't smoke these unless we achieve certain goals. So keep them on me all the time because when we hit the goals we set, we enjoy a nice day trader cigar. And why else wouldn't we smoke a day trader pack? Now we're looking a little empty because we're crushing a lot of goals. I got three left. The next PC member that hits over six figures in verified profit, I'm gonna fly out and we're gonna smoke one together. Might be you. Now number three, my noise cancellation headphones. Now, yes, I'm always freaking out in the stream because these are always disconnecting on me when I'm connected to my computer. However, I travel a lot and I need to be extremely focused. And I honestly thought when I heard noise cancellation, I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a fad, but I cannot work without these. They block out everything and I'm simply just focused on the trade. If I'm at an airport or whatever it is, these will block out the sound. Highly, highly recommend. I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it again. Headphones are one of the best investments you could ever make. And a quick backstory with these, I didn't really wanna drop 500 bucks when they first came out. I grew up with a single mother working tons of jobs, so don't blame me for not wanting to spend a ton of money on kind of useless things or you think they'd be useless. Um, so what I did is I asked for a Best Buy gift card from all of the secret Santas I was a part of, from my dad's side of the family, from my mom's side of the family, and my birthday is right next to Christmas, so I did it for both, and I had almost 500 bucks, so basically got these for free. That's a quick tip. That deserves a like in and of itself. At the end of the day, I'm a businessman, so cop yourself some headphones or have other people cop them for you. And I might be asking, Jason, why do you have a Titleist Pro V1 on your desk? The answer is, I'm not broke. I'm not hitting a, a rock flight, pal. I do love golf. It is the sport of business, 110%. I've been really getting into it. Um, so honestly, this summer, I don't think I could have lived without golf with the stressful market we had. Now, golf is a very expensive sport. I get that. You need the clubs, you need the green fees and all that. However, I have to admit, I've closed probably almost $200,000 in sales between all of our companies on a course. So that is paid for itself tenfold, and what other hobbies are gonna pay for itself like that? I've never closed a deal sitting in my tree stand hunting, I'm <laughs> just saying. So the next thing you can see in front of the golf ball is my Canon G7X. This is kind of retired of a camera now. We do have some higher end cameras that are using the film. Content creating and journaling is a huge part of who I am. I absolutely love it. I love documenting my journey, and I love letting my creative side flow and just creating fun content that I do enjoy making, as well as being able to look back in the past years on trips I've taken with my friends or content I've made to see how far we've came and grown. Even if I wasn't a content creator, I would take this with me everywhere. So I still highly recommend buying a camera and just documenting your journey. You'll never know where it takes you. Maybe one day you'll be in GQ. Now moving on to the iconic shades. Should I really even have any context for these? If you tune in the streams, if you've watched our course material, or you've just seen me make a ton of moolah, then you know who J Money is. Can't live without these. They're kind of iconic to the channel. And uh, quick backstory, they are broken. They have like, there's they, they were the ones that had like speakers on the side. And I went fishing on a charter boat out in the Florida Keys, and I forgot to wear a pair of shades. And the guy that was leading the charter found these in a compartment in one of his tackle boxes and gave them for me for the day and I kept them. <laughs> so they're mine. Yeah, that's about it. Free. Now the next thing, I already said I like to journal, but I take it a step further. Everything I do throughout the day, all the workouts I do, all the ideas I have with content, all is written down uh, in a notebook like this. This is my 2023 one. 
Um, I didn't mind the layout of this one. The last three or four years, I've had like the leather bound ones. However, I just need to write down and write out exactly what I need to get done for the day, every single day. And I think there's something to be said about checking something off in a box, the feeling of completion, the make you just wanna keep doing it and keep doing it. That's the dopamine hit I get as completing things. Not all the other cheap dopamine stuff that most of you guys probably get, but everything needs to be journaled for me. And this is in all areas of life. I talked about, you know, with my camera, documenting my journey. Um, I also do this very in depth, uh, like for trading. Throughout my entire trade, you can see me, um, if I'm not typing on a keyboard or holding my trade log, I'm, I'm writing down. I'm writing down my thought process, things I liked about the trade, things I didn't like about the trade, and that's how I'm analyzing. So documenting is a huge part of my journey in every step. Uh, especially writing out things that you need to do for the day. Uh, and that way I can look back and see what I did do and what I didn't complete, what I need to have for the next day. I'll make a whole video on how I actually structure um, stuff like this to, to be the most optimal. One quick tip, I always try to challenge myself to see how much I can get done in a certain day, um, which leaves me very frustrated on not being able to complete everything I had for the day. It gets me a whole lot more done than just putting two or three things on there. And then I added, you know, part of that where um, Elliott Wave books, because a lot of my trading style is has revolved um, around the Elliott Wave theory due to my journaling, um, I felt like it was necessary to throw them in because literally changed my financial situation. Now the next thing, I always need to have a brand new PC shirt on me. Sheer comfortability and the quality of these shirts is literally unmatched. That's why I ordered a few hundred shirts, uh, honestly, mostly for myself. Um, but they are just such high quality shirts. I can't, I just cannot live without them. Uh, we, in both black and white. And yes, they do have our own custom logos and custom tags. We don't play cheap. This is a tri blend. If this is not the highest quality shirt you own, that's under a hundred dollars, I guess I will literally refund you. That's a guarantee right there. Now, moving on to the last few things, the word, the Holy Bible, I cannot live without this. Um, whenever I'm at a roadblock or anything in my life, um, or when I'm even doing really good in my life, I, there, I always need to revert back to the word of the Holy Bible and just dissect it. There's so much knowledge, um, you know, in the word. And my mentor told me during our last conversation we had that I am literally an infant when it comes to the knowledge of Christ. And that's concerning to me, it might not be to most people, but I'm really in my infancy. And so for me, I'm always trying to, or at least recently, trying to dissect the word as much as I can because what he said is true. There's so much you can you can just grab out of this book. Life lessons on every area of life is needed for me. Yeah, I start my morning with it and I usually end my day with it. Now, the next thing is so important to me. I literally wear it all the time. You can see my arm mark. I don't know if it shows up on cam, but my favorite watch, PC Noah got this for me a little while ago um, during some unsettling times. And it reminds me of the friendship and brotherhood that we do have and just the pursuit of perfection that we want in business and in life. So I always keep it on me. Do I always look at the time of things? I think I've actually used this one time to actually tell a time. Uh, but I love wearing watches and this is literally my favorite watch. No, it's not the most expensive one, but it means the most to me. So I wear it. It's, this, is my, this is my daily driver. Uh, so it's, it's beaten up, you can see. Now the last thing is a bonus, um, but you cannot, I can't have it at my desk, so you gotta come over to my main standing desk over here. Let's check it out. Now the last thing is my stream deck. This is where I enter and exit all of my trades. The amount of money that this thing has made me is literally unreal. All of these trades are custom coded to exactly what I want for buying and selling pre-market and market open. Um, the trade execution I have with this thing is unmatched. I mean, I'm, I can get in things way quicker than anyone else can. And I thought about getting the 32 button one, which is the bigger one, but I felt like that would be kind of crowded information. So what I do is these are my pre-market orders on one page. Um, these are my market open orders. They are a little bit uh, bigger size orders, you know, because open has more liquidity and I'm working on even more, um, you know, if I want to record any of my trades or mute mute myself during the streams, I, I literally can't live without this thing. I've made this thing. This is this thing has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's not even a joke. Um, you know, I used to 
I lost a lot of money when I was trying to do like the shift one crap. I couldn't do that. And then clicking and buying is too slow for me. Um, so if you guys think Stream Deck should give us a partnership because I'm low-key plugging them like crazy right now, comment down below and add them. That's crazy. Say, we need a partnership, man. And if the partnership pulls through you, everyone who comments down below, I'm going to give you a free one. Custom PC version, baby. So that's it, guys. Those are 10 things that I, as a professional day trader, cannot live without. If any one of these things was out of my life, I don't know where I'd be. So comment down below what thing surprised you and what thing you could relate with the most. Alrighty, thanks for watching the video, guys. Catch you maybe on GQ in the future.